we are supposed to concentrate much on the carry we are supposed to concentrate much on the carry we are supposed to concentrate much on the overflow we are supposed to concentrate on the sign change in 8 bit in 16 bit etc so a lot of provisions has been given in the microcontroller so which are all the provisions provided in the microcontroller in such a way that programmer can compute the one uh, without any uh, difficulties that is the whole idea behind this okay so in today's class we are going to see how to do a single byte subtraction and how to do a multi byte subtraction using our 8050 microcontroller to start with we can see the binary representation of subtraction so binary representation of subtraction is very simple so this is 5 minus 2 the 5 5 decimal number 5 represented in binary is 00000101 and the binary representation of 2 is 00000010 and 5 minus 3 is sorry 5 minus 2 is 3 that is what we get and if we are interested our interest is to store these numbers in a corresponding memory location so 20th memory location is store 5 and 21st memory location is store and the subtraction value 5 minus 2 is 3 that is for the difference output we are getting in the 23rd 22nd memory location this is our interest in doing the subtraction with respect to 8050 microcontroller so always we are representing the numbers in hexadecimal that we must know 0x denotes it is hexadecimal so 0x09 means it is hexadecimal 9 0x02 means it is hexadecimal 2 so 9 minus 2 is 7 and when we represent it in data memory location it is like this so 9 should be the value which has to be stored in 20th memory location and 2 is the second value to be subtracted must be stored in the 21st memory location and 9 minus 2 7 has to be is the result which is a difference of which has to be stored in 22nd memory location and uh, some three examples we are supposed to do so 5 minus 3 is 2 and similarly 9 minus 2 is 7 and uh, a minus 4 is 6 now we are using a purposefully we are using a to denote it as hexadecimal number okay so this is single byte subtraction without borrow so we are not doing getting any borrow uh, because the first number is larger larger than the second number hence the difference is only the positive numbers hence there is no borrow what is borrow borrow is nothing but uh, carry when we do addition we look at the carry flag and when we do subtraction again we look at the carry flag the carry flag is called as borrow flag it's a, there is nothing there is no borrow flag available the carry flag is called as borrow flag so better store the first data in the 20th memory location better store the second data in the 21st memory location better store the result in the 22nd memory location and look at the borrow which is a carry flag or borrow flag while doing subtraction we call it as a borrow flag while doing addition we call it as a carry flag so this we must be very clear right this we must be very clear with this understanding we should go to uh, writing the code so for writing the code we have to look at the uh, opcode sheet in the data sheet which we have shared as usual first data is 5 which has to go to the accumulator second data is 3 which has to be subtracted from the accumulator and third instruction should be uh, the accumulator content need to be Uh, transfer to the data memory location 22 so this is the three instruction then we have to call to the program by using the short jump instruction so search for that instruction in the data sheet and we have to write it once again for our convenience i am just showing the data sheet also the first instruction is to move the content from the data memory location to accumulator so the instruction to move the content from the data memory location to accumulator is mov a comma data address uh, as we know E5 is the opcode, and which is a two-byte instruction, as we discussed. O A comma 20 H is the first instruction, and uh, the second instruction to subtract the content of the data memory location with the accumulator. Here, S U B B is the instruction. So subtract with borrow is an instruction. There is no separate subtract instruction available. There is only one instruction, which is subtract with borrow instruction, and there is no separate instruction for subtraction. so always we must use only the subtract with borrow instruction so the instruction to re subtract the content of the data memory location from accumulator is 
SUVB, A comma, data address. This is with respect to 8051 microcontroller. And it is a two byte instruction and its up code is 95. And subtract the content of the data memory location 21 from the content of accumulator and store the result in accumulator. Finally, we are moving the result from the accumulator to the data memory location. For that, we are using the data transfer instruction, which is move data address comma A. As we all know very well, our data memory location is 22. Hence, move 22 H comma A is our instruction. Then we have to halt the instruction. For halting the instruction, we are using the short jump instruction as we know. In short jump loop one as shown here. And if you write the code for uh, subtracting two 8-bit numbers without carry, so we have to write uh, ORG000 H, which is an origin of the program. That means the program should be written into the program memory address 0000H. ORG is an assembler directive. By using this assembler directive, we are going to start writing the program from the data memory from the program memory location 0000H. That is ORG 0 H. First, is, first instruction is move A comma 20H. Second instruction is subtract with borrow A comma 21H. And after subtraction, uh, the difference of the 20 and 21 is transferred to the data memory location 22 and we are halting the program. The first instruction should be move A, 20H, which is moving the content of the data memory location 20 to the accumulator. As we all know, its op code is E5 and 20. And the second instruction is subtraction A, 21H, which is a two byte instruction. Hence, this 95 is the op code for SUVBA. And this 21 is this 21, which is a two byte instruction. Subtract the content of accumulator with the content of the memory location 21 and store the difference in the accumulator only. That is what it's understood. And the third instruction is move 22 H comma A, which is move the difference to the data memory location 22. So that is MOV, which is F5 and 22 is the address. This is also two byte instruction, which is very interesting. And uh, there is a short derb instruction. That is also two byte instruction. 80 is the up code for short jump and where to jump jump back to location. So the program memory contents are this and this will get executed uh, when power on, and our uh, expected difference of the two numbers will be available in the data memory location 22. So this is how microprocessor works for subtracting two 8-bit numbers. Let us do that in a Kyle IDE. So I'm just copying this and then I am pasting it to the Kyle IDE and here you can see a simple code has been given. So we are compiling and building, checking for zero errors. Yes, it is zero error. Then we are debugging the code. And uh, as told, as we discussed normally, the data memory location 20, we are keeping the value as 5, say for example. The 21th memory location, we are keeping the value 2, say for example. So 5 minus 2 is 3 is the answer. Let us see, we are getting uh, the answer 3 in the 22nd memory location. Okay. Now the program is about to execute the first instruction, which is move A, 20H, meaning the content of the memory location 20 has to be moved to the accumulator A. So the content of the memory location 20 is 5. That will be moved to the accumulator A. So this is accumulator. So after executing move A, 20H, 5 will be there in the accumulator. Now I'm going to do the single step execution. While doing the single step execution, you have to observe the first uh, content is moved to the accumulator A. So now accumulator contains five because it has executed the third line and the green color uh, source, this line was executed. And now SUVB A comma 21H means subtract with borrow. So borrow is what? Carry flag. So carry flag is already zero. So the borrow is zero. So subtract A comma 21H. So subtract the content of A. So content of A is five from uh, with the content of the memory location 21, content of the memory location 21 is 2. So 5 minus 2, the answer is 3. Accumulator will have the value 3. Yes, accumulator is having the value 3. And then the content of the accumulator has to be moved to the 22nd memory location. So 5 minus 2 is 3, which is available in the data memory location 20, 21, 22. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And because we are using this convenient way of entering the data in the data memory, and there is a possibility for us to reset the program. So you can see in the top left corner in the third row, there is an uh, icon called reset. If you click this, program execution will come to the first line. Okay, so now we can change the content as 
six minus two, something like this. We can change the content as six minus two. That means changing six. So as usual, we can run the code. Uh, move a comma twenty h means now the twenty h contains six. So accumulator will get six now. So accumulator will get six now. Accumulator will get six. You can see accumulator will get six after executing the third line. This accumulator got six, and six minus two is four. The accumulator will have four, and that four will move to the twenty second moment location. Six minus two is four. And if we say because earlier we are interested in uh, unsigned numbers, unsigned subtraction, right? FF is two fifty maximum eight bit value, which is two fifty five, and we can say seven F is one twenty seven two fifty five minus one twenty seven. As I told you, there is a possibility for us to see the numbers in decimal number also. FF is two fifty five minus one twenty seven, so decimal number we can see it in the decimal number also. Two fifty five minus one twenty seven. We are expecting the answer. By resetting the code program like this, resetting. So now move a comma twenty h. So two fifty five is f f. So accumulator will get f f. Two fifty accumulator will get f f. So f f subtract with borrow. Borrow means there is a carry flag. Carry flag is zero. Hence the borrow is also zero. Subtract a comma twenty one. So f f minus seven f, which is on two fifty five minus on twenty seven, and the answer will be. On twenty eight, right? The answer will be on twenty eight, which is eighty, and that will be moved to the twenty second memory location. So eighty is on twenty eight, which is moved to the data memory location twenty two. And if we subtract on twenty seven from two fifty five, the answer is on twenty eight. And we can look it in the hexadecimal also. F of minus F seven of is eight zero. So this is how we can perform eight bit subtraction. Without borrow, that means uh, subtracting the smallest number from the largest number can be done very simply by using ATF2 microcontroller by writing the simple three lines of code.